Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Today we are replacing a Max Air air conditioner. No, actually, nope. today uh, we are going to be adding a second air conditioner to this travel trailer behind us, right, right here. Um, it is one that has one air conditioner, but it is set up for the second air conditioner. So we have to remove the uh, vent in the bedroom and it is pre-wired. The uh, AC wires uh, are pre-wired uh, pretty close to the air conditioner. We might have to put a short piece of wire to go from a junction box over to the, to the new air conditioner. Um, but we got to get that vent off the roof. We got to get most of the sealer cleaned off the roof and we have to do all that without damaging the roof. And uh, then we can install this air conditioner. We're going to install this with a uh, free blow sealing kit. So um, there won't be any wall controls and uh, I'll show you all that when we get to it. Um, just real quick before we get started, uh, I don't know what is going on with YouTube and comments. If I have not answered your comments, that's because the comments are getting lost. Uh, just the other day I had four or five comments uh, that had gone into a, a different folder uh, on the back side of YouTube being held for review. I went, I approved them all, because there was nothing wrong with them. Uh, one guy cussed a little bit, but uh, so let's keep this G-rated, folks. And uh, uh, but I, I approved all of them, but then they were just gone, just gone, uh, just never to be found again. I don't know where they went, what happened, but that's happening pretty often now. So um, while the channel's small, I am answering every comment. So. If I don't answer your comment, that is because your comment got lost and nothing I can do about that. So, uh, so uh, you think we ought to get started, Cameron? I think so, we probably should. I think we need to get started. It's, uh, it's starting to get hot out here today and uh, I'm sure it's gonna be hot up there on that roof. So uh, here we go, y'all hang on. This has a Max Air cover on it. So we're gonna get the Max Air cover off. We're gonna save this for her. She has a couple other Max Air covers on this camper, so uh, you never know when one of these will get broke. So we'll save this, but there's no saving the vent. When you pull one of these vents up, uh, it's, it's really not worth trying to save. So it just doesn't cost that much to uh, replace a vent. So uh, yeah, we... We haven't tried to save one of these things in a long, long time. And actually this is not Max Air brand, it's a Camco, but still same difference. Try and save the hardware and everything. Cameron's gonna go in and uh, crank his vent up a little bit for me. Okay. We're gonna get these brackets off here and uh, we'll give those back to her also. Let's see what kind of hardware is holding this thing down. Ah, square drive, which is good. It means we don't have to dig all the sealer off right yet. So yeah, let's get these brackets off here real quick. Just little machine bolts hold those brackets to the vent nowadays. So like I say, we'll try and, try and save all this hardware for her.
right, there we go. Got the vent off. Now we are, uh, we gotta clean this sealer up. Just gonna try and get most of this die off of here. So uh, I'm gonna work on this and uh, we'll be right back with y'all. So the lights, the glare is pretty bad, but right now we're just gonna be taking this garnish off and then this electrical cover and we're gonna be looking for the AC wires. It's gonna be four screws in this garnish. Of course, some are gonna be longer than the others. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> why not, right? Yeah, why not? <laughs> this sealer is going to stick like string cheese. We're all good. So we've got that down. Now we are going to come over to this black cover right here. We're just going to be taking that off and getting our wires down without electrocuting ourselves. And then I'm going to get the meter out and we're going to test and make sure that they are alive and that they are dead. That, yeah, pretty much. That's one screw. Just got one more on the other side. Yeah, Cameron gets to work down there in the air condition while I'm up here on the roof getting this uh, getting this sealer off. I don't know what what is wrong with this picture, Cameron. Nothing wrong to me. You don't see anything wrong, do you? No, no. Huh? Wow. See now, I see how you are now. Yeah. Yeah, we want to take this opportunity too while uh, Cameron's getting that cover off to uh, thank the people that are uh, showing me some love on PayPal. Really appreciate that. That helps out a lot. Uh, kind of makes this stuff worthwhile. And uh, Don't forget now, if you want to see my videos 12 to 24 hours before anybody else does, uh, for only a few dollars a month, you can go to Patreon and uh, join up there and uh, like I say you'll get to see all my videos before anybody else without commercials so carry on Cameron if you got anything to say yes I do all right so got that cover off and there you see it's our ground and then our two AC wires so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find the converter and I actually should probably test that they are live right now and then if they are, we'll go cut them off so that we don't shock ourselves. So that'd be smart, right? Just got our multimeter here. Stick the leads up in these wire nuts and see if we are alive. You can take those wire nuts off, Cameron. Just be careful. And They're uh, the crimp on ones. Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I don't think I'm getting very no, good contact. No, I think you're... No, you're probably not with them cramp on ones. Uh, we're going to have to snip those. Huh. I don't know. Let me come down and see what's... All right. All right, kids. Don't try this at home. Okay? As long as you're only touching one wire at a time. Theoretically and you're standing on a, a wooden floor, you can touch these wires. If you can't touch the wire, you have to, you can do that. Just have to be super careful. Everybody, I mean, I don't recommend anybody do this, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, because we have to see we have to verify whether these are hot or not before we go to fooling with them. And the only way to do that, well, there's two ways to do it. The easy way 
is use a meter. The hard way is lick your fingers and just touch the wires. Let's do it the easy way today, okay? So Cameron's got to sell on the AC electric scale. Yes, he does. And see, <laughs> that wire's live, so <laughs> that's why we were being cautious. So Cameron's going to go find the breaker box, and he's going to see if one of them is marked air conditioner two or, or front air, front maybe front air conditioner. Let's try not to cut the main one off. Yeah. What do you got? There's a AC prep. AC prep? Is it? And we got a, one that's just marked AC? No. Huh? No. It's no. a W slash D and a W slash H. It's the only labels on it. Well, that's a washer dryer and water heater. AC. There's the main AC. Oh, so okay, this okay. one's a, this one's going to be the AC prep. So that would be. Yeah, just count back from be one, two. Should be the third one back. Should be that. Should be that twenty right there. Okay. Okay. So we found the breaker. That is not it. So cut that one back on. Try the one. Try the twenty that's beside of it. That's not it either. See. There you go. That's it. What's it marked? I think it, it's, it's this one. Oh, how many amps that? That's a twenty. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Okay. So I know you probably can't see that, but it's off now. So now it's safe to touch. <laughs> Oh, let's see here. Let's uh, let's get this box out of the ceiling so that we can see how much wire they gave us. Chances are we will have to add a piece of wire to this. Uh, this is a clamp box. So just loose the clamp screws up and the whole box should come right out of the ceiling. Just like so. We're dumping dirt, dust, and everything everywhere. Oh yeah, I think there's gonna be plenty of wire up in there. Try it again. Should be right. Yeah. See if we can get a hold of it. Got it? There you go. You're pulling it. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Plenty of wire. All right. So we'll get the wire fished from over here to the to the hole where the air conditioner is going to go. And there's plenty of wire. So that's awesome. Now we can just put our clamp box back up. Cover up this hole. Because that hole was actually completely unnecessary now because now there's nothing there so we'll just put it back oh missed that one there we go got her that time This doesn't clamp very well. All right, uh, Cameron's gonna put this cover back on, and uh, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go get ready to uh, put the air conditioner on the roof. So uh, we'll be right back with you. The roof's all prepped, the inside's prepped. Now we got to put the air conditioner up on the roof. So we'll do that real quick, and we'll be right back. Uh, see, just right size. Forgot to take the ladder. Oh. Got it? I believe so. Gotta make sure the ladder don't slide.
Y'all know how I've probably said if you've watched my videos for very long. Never, ever, ever put any sealer under an air conditioner. Well, I'm going to break that rule because we took that vent off this roof. So there's, and that ain't enough pay tape, bud. I <laughs> run out. Uh, there's probably, what, 20, 20 or so screw holes in this roof. You know, and it would be, it would be pretty easy to miss one of those holes with the gasket. So I'm actually gonna put a little bit of putty tape under this thing. Hopefully if uh, somebody has to get this thong thing off in the future, it won't be too awful bad to get off the roof. Uh, actually that little class B motor home that we put an air conditioner on a couple weeks ago, uh, it was a brand new unit and it had, uh, it had, uh, it had putty tape under the uh, air conditioner gasket and it, it didn't come up that bad. Of course, uh, that was an aluminum roofed motorhome too. Wasn't, uh, wasn't a rubber roof. So I don't know if that makes a, a difference or not, but I just thought it would probably be a good idea to put a little bit of putty tape under this one. Is this crazy camera not focusing again? It's not, is it? See if I can make it focus up there. So you're supposed to be able to touch that screen and it focuses where you want it to. That don't always work, but anyhow, we're gonna get these clamp bolts snugged up. You know, and there's something really important when you're putting something on a roof. I don't know if I've ever talked about it. Make sure you get the front to the front and the back to the back. Uh, it was like this air conditioner, <laughs> it'd be really easy enough to put it on backwards. We did not. Have I ever done that before? I'm not going to say, but I'm just telling you, it can be, it's real easy to do. Uh, whether you're putting, you know, like a, a roof vent or whatever, you got to make sure that you get the front to the front and the back to the back. It's very, very important. All right, so we're good to go there. Now, let me, uh, Wipe my old dirty paws off just a little bit before we start handling this pretty white ceiling kit. Is this thing focused better now? I changed the settings on the camera. Still trying to figure this camera out. Okay, so we're gonna start putting the ceiling kit up here. Like I say, this is a this is a free blow. So our controls are right here on the air conditioner. And that also means there are no ducts, right? No duct work. I'll show you. I'll show you where the air comes in and out of this here in a minute. Let's go ahead and get this thing mounted real quick. Figure out where our, all of our hardware is at. It's in a handy dandy little bag with the knobs, and they even give you wire nuts. It's like they they think of everything. All right, we're just gonna put our AC wires. Let's see. We'll go around on this side and get our get our wires pulled up out of this, uh, this box here. Then we'll stick our new wire, our wires out of the camper, down in there. Pull them through it just the exact right amount of wire. Tighten that clamp up. Then our top top unit, the wires out of the top unit, will plug right in here. Tell you what, I'm gonna wait till I get these hooked up first. Just cause that's a bit of an awkward angle. All right, so let's get our AC wires hooked up. And no, not air conditioner wires necessarily, but your alternator, alter, shoo, alternating current wires. AC. Let's get those all three hooked up. All right. So since this is a free blow, this, it's the air duct, mounts to the top unit 
with screws and then uh, it attaches to the to the ceiling kit with double sided tape so we're going to go ahead and get this screwed up to the bottom of the air conditioner Cameron asked, asked a real good question he's like what's what's this thing here I hope y'all can see that uh, that's actually the thermistor that's what's reading the air temperature um, so I'm assuming that this thing is just going to lay up here and read read the incoming air uh, there's absolutely there's no instructions book uh, with the ceiling kit so I'm not I'm not exactly sure probably like lay it over here so it reads the the incoming air there's pre-drilled holes up there in that in that air conditioner base for this to screw into just gotta find the holes so now we got the ductwork screwed in up there now we're gonna now we're gonna get this plugged in it'll only go one way which is good all right now we're gonna get that part of the i guess that's the plenum we're gonna get it screwed to the to the air conditioner or to the actually to the clamp ring Before we actually stick the duct to the air conditioner, uh, we are going to uh, test this thing a little bit. So, uh, y'all watch yours because I know it's going to be loud. Or I hope so, anyway. It should be if we're testing it, right? So, here's our free blow uh, ceiling kit. Controls are here, you know, on off you, high, low fan, cool, all that, and your temperature set, and then your air just comes out here or here. So that's all there is to that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna finish testing this and we'll get right back with you. Well, there you have it. There it is adding a second air conditioner to your travel trailer or motorhome. Uh, most, most motorhomes nowadays, they come with two or three or four air conditioners anyway, but back in the day, this was a uh, this was something we done to a, a lot of motorhomes, uh, and actually, you know, I've been, I've done a few of these, and I've done, I don't know, I do one of these every year or two. I add a second air, so, so what do you think, Cameron? Not too bad, huh? That was surprisingly easy. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, it's just, you know, getting that old vent off and and all, dealing with all that mess and blah blah blah. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, Hey, uh, me and Cameron, we're going to go down the road and fix another one, and uh, y'all have a fantastic day.